We're here today to talk to you about essential oils. <laughs> Hi, this is Sam with Floating with Fennel, and I am not doing an unboxing. But this time I decided for Christmas, for Young Living, after I gave everybody their gifts, I wanted to maybe, along the lines of New Year's resolutions, finish a book. So the only book that I have finished that is Young Living related is actually The Four Year Career. So I want to talk to you about different references for Young Living. We all know that there's the internet, we can Google everything, etc. But sometimes it's nice to have an old fashioned book, something that you can highlight, make notes in, that kind of thing. So the very first book I got, I believe, <laughs> I believe was Taming the Dragon Within which has to do with balancing women's hormones with essential oils. And I have not finished this one either. I'm probably about this way, this far. And the only reason why I haven't finished it, which I should because I want to be able to reference this and know what I'm talking about, is that it talks primarily about Progestins Plus, which has been phenomenal for many women, whether you're going, whether you're trying to get pregnant or you're trying to balance your hormones at an elder age. So have Dragon Time, which I love putting on my body, but it also messes with my cycle. So I have to stop wearing that as well. So it's, it's really interesting, the ones, the oils that you're like, I don't know if this is gonna work, this is messing with nature. Well, the, the oils are nature. So the other book that I got is not a light read. It is The Chemistry of Essential Oils Made Simple with God's love manifest in molecule, molecules. So when I got this, I instantly thought of my sister that married into a big religious family and she's the happiest I've ever seen her. And this is a really great unbiased explanation of how every oil works on a molecular level that can be also interpreted with aspects of the Bible in it as well, which I won't get into it. I am not religious, but I do believe in a greater good and I think that you know who doesn't want to be a better person so and we got about to here so we got about halfway and there's some parts in here that get really sciencey where you kind of you kind of lose me I didn't do very well in chemistry just saying and what's really great from a massage therapy point of view is that there's different information in here about becoming an aroma therapist when it, there's different types of aromatherapy in it, and it goes into great explanation of those types and how you can get into that information. It also lists different books that he read and liked and didn't like and why. And I really love that as well. At Mona, um, Utah, and I went to the farm there. I did purchase a book when I was there and it's the Ancient Iron Corn Today's Staff of Life. And this is Gary Young's book about himself and how he is trying to revolutionize the um, sort of other end of the spectrum of Monsanto, 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 and um, iron corn is a type of wheat that has not been genetically modified that we used to be able to process easily. So those that not necessarily with celiac disease, but those that have sensitivity to gluten, many that I even know personally have been able to actually um, use this iron corn, either wheat or pasta or nuggets that he he helps distribute they can actually consume it so they can have gluten things all right and then i did pick up two books today a lot of the books that you can buy you can get in bulk things like gentle babies where's recipes in here and just good to know information and then luckily it is another light read so, and then i got chemical free home and i know that there's a few different additions to this and i might get those additions later but i am really excited about the fact that I'm cooped up in the home and the weather is terrible outside but I have a clean home and I know what I use to clean I know what products are in my cupboard I know that the essential oils and the thieves cleaner and vinegar and sort of more of those natural things I know that um, that my cats are not going to be overly sensitive to some of the chemical smells so this is like Pinterest in a book. I'm really excited about this. Maybe I'll do some online as well. Carpet deodorizer. I know I've done stuff like that myself. Homemade baby wipes, which could go hand in hand with the gentle babies and a nice ingredients 101 with chemical dangers. So I'm really interested in that. That kind of goes into more than just oils and it goes into the knowledge of the aspect of everything that you touch at all. Those are a couple of the books that I have uh, invested in. Now, on a business standpoint, I got a couple more books. So, I was gifted The Four Year Career, which is a book that I've read all the way through, 
and I read a second time and I really need to read it a third time because I feel like through the phases of your career, your ups and your downs, whether they change the FDA, what you can say, what you can't say, what you what your story is, how you can say your story, ultimately it doesn't change the fact that you are in a business about sharing is caring. If you like it, you love it, share it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I love this stuff. I love the product. I love the company. I love everything that it stands for. I love that we can donate pennies to the dollar every time, uh, every, every time we order. So this, this is just really nice because it puts in perspective what it is that you're doing. And it reminds you that you're on the right goal and it has a list in the back of the successful people. It's only think of because a picture is a thousand words is pushing up your car up the hill and eventually you'll be in the car and it will drive you down that hill. And then when I do classes, I include an essential oil start guide um, that is from reallyrevolutions.com, which is one of the few things that I've invested online. It has the Mona Utah uh, lavender on the front and then the everyday kit. It explains what essential oils are, how to use them, and then it breaks down each oil throughout the kit. In the back, it also tells you how to get started with troubleshooting. And then it ex explains really quickly about essential rewards and then some Hall of Fame favorites, like basically what to do after you get your kit, which is really nice. Some, some DIY uh, ideas and then a chance to give notes. So it was really nice to hand out in a class and then you can go through it and they can go through it too, with you together. So the idea is to keep it simple, to open up the box, show them what's in the box, show them this, have them take it home, and that's something that they can fiddle with later. Even if they shove it in their purse, it's still nice and big, it'll stick out. And I still reference this, this is really great information here. And I just bought this. This is my really big commitment to Young Living as a business. And yes, again, it's by David Rayburn. So I'm not obsessive or anything, but I have been turned, I have turned to Periscope. So I got The Road to Royal. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about, why, why this book. So I didn't get this book, you can get it in bulk. And the best way to do it is to talk to your upline and they will know somebody that can get things in bulk at a discounted rate and then you can just buy it off of them if they're nice enough to do that. So this helps you break down your goals as a business owner. You do not own this business but you do own you and how much you want to put effort into it. And it has things like a team planner and a member spotlight and so I want to make sort of a background of everybody that's in my downline, what their concerns are, what they're interested in, how I can help them, basically. What is it that they're wanting out of this? Whether they're wanting to make a business or not, I want to be the best leader I can be. So I'm really hoping that this will help me get there. And it's a very hands-on, kind of fill it in, do your homework kind of book. This, this book is glorious. I used to have the pocket reference, but it got really confusing and I'm a pictures kind of gal. I mean, I can read an epic novel, but sometimes when you're looking for something that will stick in your mind and you're like, oh, I remember that one recipe, it probably has a picture to it. So a guide towards the best part of essential oils. It also mentions the chakras and how, um, how to enhance worship and meditation with essential oils. We also have a list of oils for, for specific emotional challenges, boredom, anger, agitation, abuse, etc. It's got a nice list there. Frequencies are a really good example is Valor and Valor 2. Um, smell different and have different uh, ingredients in it, but they have similar frequencies that affect our body in the same way, even though they have different oils in them to make the blend. But the same thing with the pocket reference, it also lists every individual oil and then every um, blend and what's in the blend. Anyway, so this is a fantastic, huge book, and I, I might do and I might focus on some of the oils specifically, how to use them, what's in them, and then how, why, like, why did I buy it? Why do I have it? What's the point? I really want to get 25 to Life by Adam Green. I really want to get, um, I think it was like 25 Laws of Growth um, by Maxwell, and there's a couple other books that I have been reading that don't have anything to do with essential oils, kind of like the tipping point. Um, and then I got to write on it and I got to highlight it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm collecting books. So thanks for tuning in. I hope that you, I hope that you were able to take something from this or feel free to ask me any questions. You have my email or you can comment below. So thank you for your time. Have a good night. Bye. Sippy sippy. Yeah. And I have a, a <laughs>
<laughs> loud cat down here. I, they got an early Christmas present um, and it involves a big piece of paper. So they're gonna play with that. Galabinum. Fuser, but, diffuser. <laughs> but we have the rainstone, even though the rainstone's out. Ah! 